hey, anybody out there watching, um, I'm just parked outside of my job. I'm reporting, I'm supposed to report to work at two in the morning. I think it's like almost 11. I'm just here a little early to, um, I mean, I don't know, I'm going to take a little nap because the job is a little far away. No buses run out here at all. Since I've been out here, I've never jumped on any bus, thankfully. But um, hopefully I can get this car fixed a little soon because I, I was told I need a new CV Axle. And I'm hoping with my tax return money and the money from my job that I may quit, that will be enough to repair the car. But anyway, um, this morning I did a video talking about the Roe v. Wade, um, the whole situation with the Supreme Court and what they're trying to do, overturn it after almost 50 years. So, if you didn't know this about me, I used to be a Republican. I once voted for Donald Trump. And where I stand on voting now is I'm not going to vote in any election anymore, local or national. Even though the local elections matter more, I may never vote ever again. And when I was a conservative Republican, if you want to call it that, I was strongly against abortion. I thought abortion was a way to eradicate the black race. I thought like it's wrong to support it because I would always look at these little memes online. They would show like the amount of black babies that were aborted in abortion clinics versus, um, you know, police killing black men, unarmed black men. And, you know, I, did, I didn't support abortion in no way, shape, or form. Not even if the woman, the woman was um, at risk with her health, I didn't support it in no way. Raped as well. But now as, um, speaking of like the race part now, so my, my ideologies have changed ever since the racial unrest, civil unrest of um, 2020. All the riots that took place last year, like almost two years ago, I've changed my stance on abortion based on that and the spike of crime because these progressives have been. And let me just explain this real quick. I'm neither liberal or conservative, but these progressives who want to alter the norm of things like the prison system and police, all this reformation about police and prisons look at the effect of it now crime is going up police aren't really doing their jobs because if they do the jobs they're going to get fired or they're going to be sent to jail prisons are letting people out of jail even if they're a murderer they they are allowed bail at a low amount and this is a this is what i predicted that would happen if you were to allow criminals leeway you they just want they're just going to keep committing crimes because they know nothing's going to happen it's like it's, it's a little scary because it's like they want to just see the town just go into pieces but um sorry i just really feel bad for the people like the immigrants that come here and they try to just do for themselves they try to work and they have to suffer f like from a lot of this crime because they get affected the most but let me say this. So I read this book on abortion. Uh, it was a chapter dedicated to abortion. It was called Freakonomics, one of my favorite books ever. And it discussed it. This is where I got this thinking from. So it, it discussed on um, the amount of money that people spend on prisons every year. Every inmate ranges from twenty five to thirty thousand per inmate a year to house and close them and feed them. Yeah, they committed crimes. Our tax dollars covers all of their expenses per year. A lot of that, a lot of people in jail, a lot of people in prison, they are products of unwedded, uneducated, impoverished women. Women who are not fit to be mothers to begin with. And they have kids. They're not raising them. They're raised in horrible conditions and they wind up going to prison. That's their future. It would be a lot easier 
for the country crime wise and tax wise if their existence did not happen to begin with i know that sounds really harsh but every time i look on the news and i see kids running down the street knocking people upside their head looting stores stealing their existence could have been prevented had we had abortion facilities on every corner like we do gas stations and and barbershops now you didn't, I know we're not going to they're not going to just pop up on every corner but that would make a that would make a big difference because I don't think I don't think women who are unmarried they come from impoverished areas and they have no education I don't think they're fit to raise kids at all they're not fit to raise kids look at the outcome of women that I, the women that I just described having kids they produce criminals. What value, and let me just be honest, let, let's be really blunt. What value do criminals have in this world when they don't have education, they have no skills, they go right back to crime because that's how they know how to uh, make money is by stealing and doing illegal activities. But what purpose do they have being in society? It's like you let them out of jail, right? You let someone out of jail, because you feel like what their crime consisted of was nonviolent. It was a drug offense. And I think drug dealers are some of the most violent people ever. But you let these people out of jail, right? If they have like a fifth grade education, a third grade reading level, they have no skills. All they know is prison. All they know is gangs. All they know is selling drugs. What purpose do they have being free? What do you think they're going to go right back to when they get out in society? Crime. Exactly. I think abortion, I, I, I mainly just support abortion only if it helps reduce crime. I'm not saying women who are um, a little promiscuous, they have kids and, you know, they they're on like their eighth abortion in like in like five years that I don't support just explicitly killing like like terminating a pregnancy. I don't I don't support that at all. But I will, I, I think it's a good concept to restrict people from having kids or something, man. We got to think of something to stop this crime. Because I don't want to hear all life is precious. God loves everybody. I don't want to hear that. We, 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 were, we were already, we, we tried to sympathize with people. We tried to you know, show people a little empathy. And that's just not, it's not working at all. Things are getting a lot worse. I feel like if they ban abortion, which they're not going to do in every single state, but if they restrict um, abortion laws and they make it where it's a lot tougher, no matter what the circumstances are. And like I said, if you're not fit to be a parent, don't have kids at all. You really should be don't have sex if you're not ready to deal with the responsibilities. But, we, you know, we live in America, so, you know, it is what it is. But let's see. Um, What was I going with this? Yeah, don't have kids if you're not ready. But I, I think, like I said, things are going to get a lot worse if they make it where it's a lot tougher to just have an abortion. Because imagine, the, just look at the, if, if they were to hypothetically just ban abortion altogether, it's illegal in every every state in America. I think crime would be, um, will start increasing more. Give it like 10, 15 years, we'll have more criminals in this world that we, than we can bear. Just think of the crime. Think of the kids on TV, sagging their pants, holding guns on camera. Those are the people that you want to um those are the people whose lives you feel is precious and it's worth something just think of it like that